Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, a battle of two first place squads between the San Diego Padres and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. So now here is Gerald Hayden looking to put them ahead the early with this at bat. Right, Gerald you like right here. Hayden. All right, look at the new pitcher. Let's go. Let's go. First pitch of the AB now. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90. Now into the box, Gerald Hayden, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. So with one gone, time for our look at the current standings. As you can see, these guys really have a comfortable lead in the division race to this point in the season. Digging in will be Gerald Hayden. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though they're two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. And he lays off for ball one. Hey, let's go, kid. What time is Lifted in the air to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. And now, Oscar Mercado singled in his last at bat. The right field. Yeah, guys, everyone knows Oscar. he's been slumping. Dan, you can Mercado. certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Barehanded at his ankles. He gathers the throw. Oh, it's late. He's safe. A great effort comes up short, and now the potential lead run is on base. Next to the plate for the Padres, Gerald Hayden. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. All right, here we go. We need you. We need you. First offering on its way. Back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And that'll score hey, the runner from third as they seize control here, three to two. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Now that Can you quiet right your emotions down, Wait. take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Now the 2-0 home. That's ball three. Well, he was definitely looking fastball Freedom. here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. As a look, now the pitch. No, and he misses four. with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Up next, Robert Hassel, single the last time up. Number nine, Robert Kyle, the Hassel. runner at third. Hayden over at second. Sable is over at first with one away. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. I'm really impressed by that strikeout, and I'll tell you why. 
He should have gotten a call on the pitch before, and it looked like he now got bad. squeezed a little bit. In a bases loaded situation, that can drive a guy nuts, mm -hmm. drive you crazy. What I love is he didn't let him take it out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice right here, job right of taking it one pitch at a time. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this in and get out of hand. Andre's able to pick up one on a couple of hits. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. The Padres lead it three to two. So next to bat will be Gerald Hayden. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Now here's the first offering. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Count now a ball and a strike. Four runs, ten hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Now the 2 1 pitch. Softly hit down to third, likely no oh, shot at two. Kick, 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 and hey. indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 5-2 the final score tonight. San Diego with their 80th win to pace the division. Adrian Morejon records the victory his 13th of the year. Lenny Torres earns the save out of the bullpen the his 43rd of the ballgame. campaign. So that'll put for a wrap on things San here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleasant.